So now it's time for the fun part, the competition. Hey guys, Kat here from Sanding Stone Kennels and Ethan. Hello. And we're here to talk to you about the first four weeks home with our litter mates. Our puppies are 12 weeks old. Mm. I'm raising Bet. Ethan is raising Duel. And we've been doing a ton of things. We've been following along with our online step-by-step -step versatile dog training course. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before you get into that, we need to explain the fact that Raising litter mates sucks, okay? It sucks. We have been letting dogs out constantly, seemingly constantly. They have to be in separate areas, which just has you playing this game of back and forth across the house. You get out, you pee, you get out, you pee, you get out, you pee, you get out, you pee. You get to play for a minute, you go away. Well, first you have to pee, but then you get to play for a minute, then you go away. It's a lot. It is a lot, but yes. We have been doing a lot with them as well. Yes. And um, though we've been following along with the course, there has been some modifications made because our life is kind of crazy and hectic. Not only are we raising litter mates, but we travel a lot for events and things like that. So these puppies have already been very well traveled. So let's do a quick recap of everything that we've been doing with them. I uh, do went all the way down to El Tesoro with me. So that's San Antonio. That was a long car ride down and back just to help deliver a couple dogs to the ranch and get some video content and photos of the dogs that were down there. Um, both Bet and Duel got to go back to Texas for a pigeon race that we were attending for Ethan, which Ethan's pigeon won 12th place. So, hey, it was a great, a it's great really time. Good. <laughs> However, that trip was tough because it rained almost the entire time we were there, which makes playing with puppies and getting them outside time and things like that really difficult. Um, moving right from that, we went to northwest Wyoming. Nebraska. Or that's what I meant. Northwest Nebraska. Northwest Nebraska um, for a goose hunt. No, the puppies were not goose hunting yet, but they did get to road trip with us, which during these road trips, things that they're working on is obviously traveling in a car, additional crate time, learning to potty on leash when we're having to stop on, you know, the side of the road to give them potty breaks and things like that. They're doing that on leash, which is a learning experience for them. Um, and then they've been doing a ton of their basic obedience clicker training. So I've been working on sit and targeting and woe with my puppy, as well as teaching her to go in her crate. I have been doing the same things, basically. Um, I have actually not taught my puppy sit at all because I'm afraid to because she likes to sit a lot. But outside of that, we've been working on retrieving and basic obedience like healing, proper healing position and standing, which is woe targeting for recall, and kennel to go into her crate as well. And then they've uh, got... I have we even done a couple sessions with a place board. Oh, dang. Uh, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, actually, I don't think so. So many dogs. <laughs> and so many things. Yeah. Um, but they've also got to socialize with some of our older dogs, play with our kiddos. They do get small increments of playtime together, but as they develop, as they become more bold and confident, which is the natural progression of these very um, independent, confident breed dogs, they are getting less of that time together because it's causing problems. They wanna just chase off with each other into the tall grass. They're not listening as well during those small moments of interaction. So those moments are getting fewer and further between because it's just adding to the chaos. Yeah, just I would say in the last three to four days, yeah. We have made that transition into basically cannot let them out together at all, which before, like Kat said, it was small increments. You know, it's okay for you to take a puppy to go play with another puppy. That's not an issue. It's when they do everything together all the time, interact with each other, play with each other, entertain each other. Sleep with them, each other. Yeah, all of those things end up building them in a situation where they're bonding more with each other. And I see that firsthand. If we let if I let just Duel out to go to the bathroom, she follows me around, she goes potty, she listens, she behaves, she does everything really, really well, as we would expect for a puppy this age. But if the two of them get set down together, they just listen to nothing and tear off into the grass, exactly what you said. Exactly. You know? So we are to the point that 100%, they either have to be on leash or, or independent from each other. And that's um, 
a normal progression. So yeah, and that definitely just adds to the amount of time that it takes to give them each what they need. So we also have done some fun things where the puppies and the kiddos have gotten to play. We've had some cold, rainy, snowy weather. So we've done some inside our garage playtime with the kiddos, running around with them, biking with them. Um, the puppies like to chase and then they like to go hang out for a little bit. Um, and then we've watched a few movies where the puppies get You Will Love Me time, where we just <laughs> hold them on their backs and they relax and get comfortable and watch movies with us. Um, my puppies had some nail trims and nail grinding sessions. So, I'm sure yours so has yep. as well. So Absolutely. doing all the things. And so now... You're just basically following along with the, the course that we have set up. Yeah. So now it's time for the fun part. The competition. Whose puppy is better? And that's going to be up to you guys to determine. What we're going to do here now is play two clips, basically just demonstrations, not full training sessions, demos of what we think our puppies can do. And then it'll give you the opportunity to make your decision on whether Ethan and Duel are the champions of this uh, current check-in or if Cat and Bet are. So stay tuned and make sure to put your vote in the comment below. So I have Bet with me, she's 12 weeks old, and the first thing that we taught her how to do, or that I taught her how to do, was how to recall target here with clicker training, here. So I'm gonna just demo a couple reps of each behavior she knows. Here. Yeah. She also knows how to, whoa, Oops, I dropped one. Freebie. Whoa. She also knows how to kennel in her crate. Kennel. Also dog beds, but working on her going in her crate right now. Maybe I will have to remove the distraction. Okay. Kennel. Kennel. Good girl. Okay the crate out of there as a distraction. And I'm gonna see if we can get... Oh, oh, oh. Sit. Good. Sit. Good. Then I'll show you a couple of retrieves that she has been doing as well. Take the treats off so they're not a big distraction. Treats as in her meal. So uh, where can I toss this that you're going to be able to see it? Just that way. Can you still see me here? Ready? Let's do a toss. Ready, ready, ready. Okay. Good girl. Good girl, pet. Good job. Good job. Good, good job. Okay, let's do another one. Ready, ready? Ready? Good job. Ready, ready, ready? Okay. Good girl. Add a girl, but oops, slip and slide. Good girl, good girl. Good job. Good job. Good. Good job. Okay. Good. Let's do one more. One more good one. Hopefully, you can see the actual. Issue. There we go. Keeps rolling that way. Good girl, bet. Good girl. Ah, ah, ah. I got greedy. She decided to go over to Ethan. Boop, 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 boop. Bet, bet, bet. Yeah, it's a good girl. But she came right back to me because she's so cooperative. Good job. Good job. Good. Okay. Good. So that is what Bet knows. And it looks like she needs to go out. So she also has been doing a great job with potty training. And I'm going to get her a potty break. Alrighty, folks, so I've got Duel. We've been working on a lot of different things and I'm gonna show you uh, one of the first things that we taught was here. 
Good girl. There you go. One of the basic, biggest things that we've been successful with in the last few weeks is um, teaching her how to eat food. For the longest time, she would eat one kibble at a time. You gave her more than one, she'd drop them on the ground. Here. And what we are using here is Yukonuba Premium Performance Puppy Pro. She's just eating her meal. It's a, it's a really good way to combine two different things here. So she's good at target here. Good girl. One of the other things that we've taught is crate training the kennel. Good girl. There you go. Okay. Kennel. Good girl. There you go, baby. She knows. Whoa. Good girl. Whoa. Good girl. And then one of the last things that I've been working on with her is moving into a healing position, so proper healing position. This we still use a lure sometimes, so I have actual dog food in my hand. Good. Heal. Good girl. No food in my hand that time. Heal. And then a step or two. So very, very, very um, little expectation at this point. Can you follow me around in a circle? But she's doing a pretty good job at staying focused for the training. Now last, we have been working a lot on retrieving. And I have two options. She's been doing a little bit with this, but she loves the egg, the scrambly egg. So we're going to try a bumper first. Oop, sorry, babe. Okay. Hot? You were trying to sneak past me. Ready? Okay. Oh, I threw it underneath the shoe rack. Oh no. Come on. Good girl. There you go. Good. Good pop. Good pop. All right, one more. Good. Come on, come on, come on. Little tug's good. Build that strong grip. Yeah. She said, I'll let go. This is what you do. When you grab me under the middle and you bring me to my side, I have to let go. Good. Okay. So those are all of the things that dual knows. I would say at this point, folks, you've seen both Cat and Bat and me and Duel. Please put in the comments below who you think is doing the best with their puppy. And folks, we'll see you in their next video.